Smirnoff spiked sparkling seltzers are already the king of the hill in our house. So how do their new rosé flavor stack up? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another booze vlog uh, about spiked seltzers or boozy seltzers or whatever you want to call them. I think they've patented every phrase. Sparkling spiked seltzers, spiked sparkling seltzers, boozy seltzers, uh, 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 whatever, I, I don't even know. Oh, also we're testing out a new mic. Today. We were using a boom mic for the longest time and it was always echoey. So let's see how this is sort of my first test. If it comes out sucky, I'm not fixing it. Anyway, we stopped drinking red wine about, I don't know, six, eight months ago uh, when we discovered the spiked seltzers. And our, our very first review of the spiked seltzers was Smirnoff, the Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer. This is their 2019 variety pack here, you can see. This is uh, cranberry lime, berry lemonade, raspberry rosé, and the newest kid on the block, uh, pina colada, which is our absolute favorite out of all of them. Um, but recently, we found this little pack. It's the Four Ways to Rosé four flavor variety pack. I'll walk it up here. I, mean, I can usually do a screen, but here. That's what it looks like. Um, just a little bit of a, I have no, I know nothing about rosé other than I thought it was a girly drink, but I found out today it's a French, some kind of French, I, I don't know. It's pinkish, as you can see, it's sort of pinkish. Overall, Smirnoff is king of the hill. When you add up all their little scores, they are higher than everybody else. But anyway, the variety packs were interesting. Uh, I'll talk about this new, the, the 2019 variety pack. The 2019 variety pack, it, it's nice to have, you know, four of three flavors, because you can just, you know, mix it up a little. And the rosé, for as long as I've been drinking, it was always a sort of a, a off, you know, it was kind of a, a mixing it up a little. They all tasted kind of like they had the same color and the rosé had a, you know, that pink look and it tasted a little bit, a little bit different. It had some sort of added element to it. I forget, I don't even know how to, to, to this describe it. But the raspberry rosé, which is in the overall variety pack. I forgot to lock my wheels of my workbench here. Uh, lock at least two of them so it doesn't move. Anyway, it's also part, it's featured in the uh, Four Ways to Rose floor, four flavor variety pack as well. But the three new flavors that are with us in 2019 are pink apple rosé, white peach rosé, and strawberry rosé. Now my opinion about the raspberry rosé, which has been around for, for quite a while, was uh, it was okay, it was okay, it was, it was good. It, was, it still hit all the marks with the rest of the features that we like in a spiked seltzer. But, I don't even know where I'm going with this. Here's how the new flavors tasted. Now, if I had to rank the raspberry rosé out of all these other flavors, it's, it's really tough to, uh, let me rank the flavors in, in the 2019 pack. Number one, pina colada, like 20, uh, 20 lengths ahead. Number two is the berry lemonade. You know, 20 lengths, it's still very good. And then the cranberry lime and ra uh, raspberry rosé sort of finished at like a 50 lengths behind the pina colada. Um, 
They were my least favorite. I, I usually like drinking those first so I could save the best ones for last. But I typically drink on average of six or less a night these days. So whatever, you sacrifice, you just get, you get 12. Cause we buy 12 packs because they're more affordable than buying six packs. And the only 12 packs we found so far of single flavors are the raspberry rosé. And I'm, I'm, I can't invest in 12 uh, raspberry rosés. That's too many. But anyway, this new uh, 12 pack with four different uh, rosé flavors, I tasted them all tonight. I've had one of each. I've had the strawberry, the pink apple, the original raspberry, I drank that first just to establish a baseline, and then white peach rosé. Um, I'll rank them right now, right, real quick. The only one that stands out of, the, out of this rosé pack is the pink apple. The pink apple is the winner on this, and I would say it's, if the pina colada's first place and Berry Lemonade's 20 lengths behind. This is maybe 21 lengths behind. Apple is a very, uh, very good flavor if, if done right, and it's definitely not too apple-y, if you know what I mean. It's not overwhelming. It, it, this is a, a really good new flavor. I, if they ever sell this in a 12 pack, I will buy it. And coming in second, and tied for second place and third place are the white peach and the strawberry. Um, they each have their pros and cons. I think the white peach had a better better initial flavor, but it's overall kind of weak. Same thing with the strawberry, but it had a pleasing weakness. It was kind of like a soft, soft flavor. And in last place is the raspberry rosé, because uh, I think I'm, I'm over it. But the new rosés are a good, uh, uh, definitely one of the more unique flavor packs out there, uh, in my opinion. It, it, it's in its own little league. There's no other seltzers that we've tried that that have that kind of rosé taste. And I don't know if it's good or bad. It's just different. Uh, I'm sure some people prefer it or have a have a, a liking towards this kind of flavor. I love them nonetheless. I mean. Don't get me started on these uh, slim cans. I hate slim cans more than anything. I just hate that they're just really hard to, to balance. In the refrigerator, there's, they're always toppling over. I'm gonna do a whole vlog about, this is gonna be my next uh, things that are shoddy in 2019. And I think the trend with slim things, slim bottles, slim, I, I hate them. I, they do it for, uh, for individual items at supermarkets to uh, maximize shelf space. They, they figured out, some guy tabulated an algorithm saying, well, you know, it's the right height and the right width. You can get maximum number on a, on a shelf and, and it, to sell them, you pack them into a store, but functionally they're just, they, I, I, I hate slim cans. They're just, I hate them. For big hands, they're just, they're too much. For little weak hands and women, sure. But uh, I hate slim cans. Bring back the big fat cans. I, I, I would love to see like a 20 ounce version of this. Keep it the same height, just make it thicker. But anyway, that's my review for the Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer New Rose lineup. Uh, I like them, I'll buy them again. Uh, like I said, Smirnoff isn't the best flavor, it's hard to say. They're the best overall. And maybe if it's even the fizz, I like the fizz in it, I, I, I don't know. But uh, this this new uh, pack is worth picking up. I did a really bad video today, I'm really sorry. Because I didn't really have any kind of, I just fully off the cuff. Um, but if you can find the pina colada, that's a summer vacation in your mouth. That's it for this week. See you next time on njroot22.com. Take care.